How's it going everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at how you can get free human ward and bane gear in New World. But before we get into that, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel. It helps out massively. Now, let's get into it. With the release of Season 1, Fellowship and Fire, we got a new expedition in New World called the Imperium Forge. In this new dungeon, there's tons of great new gear to collect, and even a really powerful new heart rune gem that everyone is after. Because this expedition can be quite tricky, everyone is after the newest Bane and Ward gear to make themselves more efficient in this dungeon. And that's the Human Ward, or the Human Bane. Being that it's a new kind of Bane, prices for any gear with this on it is astronomical at the moment on the trade post. So I figured in this video, I'll show you a couple ways to get free Human Ward and Bane gear so that you can get through this expedition easier and start getting yourselves that new Heart Room gem. The first and easiest way is simply to play through the Silver's Crow seasonal quest line. It's all very easy, and you can start by going to the Crow's Nest hideout south of Brimstone Sands and talking to Grace O'Malley. Along this quest line, you'll get yourself a really nice light helmet called the Mask of the Fearless, which not only looks awesome for transmog, but also has awesome perks and the Human Ward on it as well. Also, you'll get yourself a pretty cool blunderbuss called Grace's Thunder Pipe with Human Bane on it, so if you're a blunder user, you're already two steps closer to a full set. There's also some other great rewards along this quest line, but these are the only ones with Bane or Ward perks on them. The next way to get yourself some Ward gear is by completing a newly added quest in Brightwood called Battles Embrace. It's really easy and takes about 3 minutes. Simply go talk to Gwendolyn Drake over here in Brightwood, then head up to Great Cleave and complete the objectives, head back to any forge and make the gear, and then turn it back in to Gwen. She will in return give you the armor, which is a full set of heavy gear with Human Ward on it. Of course, there are some limitations to this gear though. For starters, it's only gear score 500, so you can never bring it up to 625. Also, it's all heavy gear, so if you're not a fan of heavy gear, you might only use a couple of these pieces. And finally, it has a sword and shield perk on it, and accelerated resolve. That all being said though, it is free, and can do a very good job for you until you get the best in slot ward gear, especially if you're a sword and shield tank. This could make your run throughs a lot easier, and can hold you over until you get the human ward drops from the dungeon itself, or for when the prices drop back down to a reasonable price. Another way to get some human gear is simply by using your flame cores at the forge located beside the entrance to the Imperial Forge. This will take 10 flame cores to create an unstable cast which can be broken open for some umbral shards and a random human bane or ward piece. As prices stand though, I highly recommend you do not do this method. It costs me 6k gold for 10 flame cores, and most of the time, the gear you get is pretty garbage. Plus, eventually, when you get the heart rune, you're going to need these flame cores to upgrade it, so I would save them for that. Maybe once the prices of flame cores goes down, this method will be more viable. And finally, you can get human ward and bane gear from running the expedition itself, even on its easiest difficulty. I'll display on screen all of the bane and ward gear that drops from the non-mutated version of this expedition. Maybe use the gear from the methods above to make this dungeon less difficult, but once you get good at the Imperium Forge and can consistently complete it, then just keep grinding that out until you get a full set. And then from there, if you're good enough, you can move on to the mutated version of the expedition for a chance at the Fire Lord's gear, which looks awesome for transmog. Don't be put off if you're not the best at PvE. I'm not the best either. I struggled with Brimstone Sands' expedition, but this one is a lot easier. I completed it with a random group first try with only one wipe on the final boss, and it doesn't take that long either. It's really quick to get the hang of, and they are very generous with the loot. I got 7 named items on my first run through, and the heart rune as well. Even if you don't beat the last boss, you will still get some human bane and ward gear along the way that you can level up to make your next attempt even easier. But that about covers all the current free ways to get human bane or ward gear in New World at the moment. Hopefully this can help some of you out, and you can go forth and get your gear. If this helped, please consider leaving the video a like and subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. But until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching another video. If you'd like to see more New World content, then click on any of the videos on screen now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.